Hey everybody, people have been asking me about the final processing of maple syrup and Melanie is now canning a whole mess of clear, hope I don't burn myself, very clear and beautiful um, bottles. Look at the clarity. Now that's what we're talking about. That's the clarity that they're talking about. See that? You can see through it. That is really clean sap um, syrup. So Melanie is bottling these. I hope I don't burn myself. Uh, really, really clean, clear process here. Um, these are all, I think, 8 ounces, and now she's doing the 12 ounces. And what you do to finish the maple syrup is you bring it to a boil, and you have a candy thermometer right here, which you use. And when the syrup reaches a temperature of 7 degrees above the boiling temperature of water in your area, which varies, we're going with 220 degrees here, when the maple syrup reaches 7 degrees above the boiling point of water for your area and elevation, then you have syrup. So then what we did, or what Melanie did, I say we because all I did was advise, but what Melanie did was she put the syrup uh, jars in a water bath, filled the jars with water in a pot full of water, and brought that to a boil. Now she's putting the boiling syrup into heated and sterilized jars. And then um, we let them sit aside and they'll seal all on their own as they cool off slowly. So this, and we've got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine pints, nine eight ounces, and a 12 ouncer here. And we've got a whole mess of juice jars for our own use, which I showed you the other day, which has a thicker. Um, darker colored syrup. So, got various processes, various stages, and I've read the comments and a lot of people say they'd be interested in the thicker, darker syrup. So I think what we'll do is we're going to sample some of this batch ourselves to make sure, and then we'll let you know based on sweetness, thickness, and color, and clarity, we'll set up some prices to let you guys decide if you want it or not. And then we'll start shipping it out to you guys as we start boiling it down. Now I've got... Melanie, you still have another container to boil off? Or was that... did you mix them two together just now? There was another... you had two pots on the stove today, or are they both boiled down now? Or no, you had one pot. Okay, I've got another gallon or so out on the porch. That's right. She's got another gallon or so on the porch, and when she's done boiling that off, then I've got another batch in the sugar shack. Chris, Chris is on hold. We've got another batch. So now we're getting to the point where we're processing a lot of final product. It's just every day ongoing now. So it's looking pretty good. So to, in summary, is this will be a separate independent video. You bring the sap to a boil. You can do the final boil in your house because not much is going to come off. You're just doing your final boil and you boil it until the temperature reaches seven degrees above the boiling temperature of water and then you put that into jars that have been brought to a boil and then seal it and they will seal themselves and it's perfectly safe and fine. And that's how maple syrup is is uh, final process and finished off. So there you go guys, Troy and Melanie from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project making maple syrup.